Hello and welcome to the third tutorial on how you can find the vanishing points for buildings. So in the first tutorial, we looked at how you can find the vanishing points or the VPs for a group of buildings. In the second tutorial, we looked at buildings that are uphill. So in this third tutorial, we are going to look at buildings that are downhill, which means we are standing at the top of the slope looking downwards. All the photos that you see here were sourced from Pinterest. By the way, if you guys want to check out more drawing tutorials, you can visit my YouTube playlist. I believe there are like 100 over drawing tutorials I've created over the years. So let's take a look at uh, maybe um, this scene first. So once again, we need to find the VPs for the road. In this case, this is actually a flight of stairs. It looks like some stairs. Anyway, it's going in this direction. So the vanishing point is somewhere here. And we need to find the VPs for the buildings on the left and for the buildings on the right. So if we draw diagonal lines to the converging point, um, it seems like they converge here and for the buildings on the right side um, it seems like they are sharing the same vanishing point so this building here is actually facing this building like uh, directly so to draw something like this um, well again for a complicated scene I will probably start with pencil so I will probably mark out the road at the bottom here, draw the largest or longest line and draw some lines to basically block in the shape. So for the windows here, um, it's very important to make sure that you know where's the vanishing point, which is somewhere around here. We have a tower here. So when you draw the windows, um, try to draw those diagonal lines pointing to the vanishing point. So this, this diagonal line here will point here, but the top of the window here will actually point down like this. And we have another window here as well. And for the window that is right uh, here, Again, make sure this diagonal line points to the vanishing point. And this will point here. Now if we take a look at the photo, you can see this diagonal line will go to the VP at the top, whereas the diagonal line for the road or the stairs will go to this VP. So they are not going to the same direction, which tells me that, well, this is a slope. So when drawing, just draw those windows um, to the vanishing point and you will get the right perspective. So as mentioned many times, you can draw this diagonal line based on observation, but it's easier to find a VP first and draw those lines to the VP. So we have a balcony here, we have some doors here. I'm not drawing exactly what I see in the photo, by the way. Yeah. And then you can just fill in um, all the details later on. So this is a complicated scene. It's going to take like a long time to add in all those details but you have to make sure that you get the general perspective right if you get the perspective or composition wrong right at the start um, or adding all those details later on is not going to make the perspective accurate here's another scene again find the vp first so the vp for the road here is here the vp for the buildings here again a bit difficult because all the lines here are very compressed but you can use the diagonal lines uh, to help you um, this looks like a horizontal line this looks like a horizontal line 
So it seems like the VP for the buildings it's here. So for slopes or roads that go downhill, the VP will be lower compared to the VP of the buildings. And for slopes that go uphill, the vanishing point, the VP will be higher compared to the VP of um, the buildings. As you get more practice, all this knowledge will be part of your subconscious, so you don't even have to think about it. But um, right at the start, always try to find the vanishing point first to make it easier for you to draw more accurately. Here's another scene. So seems like the VP for this road is here and for the buildings the vanishing point seems to be let's use the pencil to draw the line so the VP seems to be right here so you can see the VP for the buildings up here VP for the road is down here and this particular scene is nice because um, here you see the edge of the road and you see all these people who are behind um, this part here the edge of the road and it's cropped off so this actually makes the scene more interesting because you have people uh, at full height but you also have people that is cropped off here so it makes it more interesting to have like people of different shapes and height as for the diagonal lines for all these buildings here um, well in this case it's a bit difficult to find a vanishing point for all these buildings so um, if I'm drawing this on location I will probably just draw this from observation so just block out the road first, draw the longest or largest element, uh, place in some key elements to help you uh, get some positioning. So make sure you know where's the vanishing point here. And you, once you know that, you can draw the windows to the vanishing point. And you can draw the doors here to the vanishing point as well. And then you can draw these little ships, the roofs, the buildings here. And all the people here. The roofs here will also go to the vanishing point. This is a very complicated scene because there are so many things going on. First thing first, um, the VP for the road, it's somewhere here. But you can see the road actually turns to the left, so there is actually another vanishing point for the road somewhere here, but it doesn't matter that much compared to the VP of this road here and for the buildings you can see they have their own vanishing point so I'm going to just draw these buildings as blocks like this so the vanishing point for the group of buildings here seem to seems to be around here yep so when you draw the windows remember to draw like all the windows with those lines aligned to the vanishing point um, okay now the vanishing point for these buildings here so as long as you can see diagonal lines there are vanishing points so for buildings here in the far background you don't see diagonal lines um, all these are just horizontal lines so there is no vanishing point but for these buildings here, there are actually vanishing points. So let's find out where they are. So the VP is here. So when you draw windows, um, you have to draw the diagonal lines pointing to that VP. All right. I'm drawing like really huge 
windows here so this should join I mean the diagonal line should go to the VP on the left side if the top line of your window looks like this um, it's going to look off the perspective is going to look like really off so you have to make sure that this diagonal line points to that vanishing point on the left side as for all these shapes that you see here um, you can just draw them from observation here's a scene with some stairs going downhill so I'm going to try and block in the big shapes first measure the angle for the steps one like this like this and basically just draw the big shapes first before we block in or draw at the details later on so observation is the key here patience as well as the steps move down to the left side you can see the steps become smaller and smaller and this line here is horizontal uh, we need to actually measure even though in the real world if you are seated on the steps drawn in this this uh, the side of the stairs here is actually going down you know that it's going down your brain tells you that it's going down but when your eyes look at this um, stretch out your arm use your pencil to measure this angle um, this is perfectly horizontal so your brain will tell you that this line is actually going down but from what you can see with your eyes it's horizontal and this line here it's actually tilted down slightly so my line is actually not that accurate here we have a building going up here the horizon is actually here um, the horizon is here so the eye sorry the vanishing point is somewhere here so we can draw all these diagonal lines to the vanishing point we can draw the top and bottom of the windows to the vanishing point um, like this again if you draw a window that look that's like this this line is not going to this VP so it's going to look off so it should be like this and yep so we have other buildings here as well for these buildings in the background you can actually just draw them from well observation yep but uh, it will still be helpful if you can find a VP the vanishing points for uh, this group of buildings here to help you draw the windows more accurately the other way to draw the windows here accurately without the use of a vanishing point is you can actually draw these diagonal lines here um, those diagonal lines that divide the buildings into different floors draw those lines um, use those lines to divide the buildings into different floors and make sure you get the angles of those lines are right because those angles are very important so once you have those lines you can then draw the windows in the section here and the top and bottom of the window those diagonal lines should follow the direction of the diagonal lines that separate the different floors so this is the other way you can draw uh, this windows in perspective accurately okay so um, yeah very important to get basically the big ships right and then fill in the details later on the horizon line is actually here um, the horizon line is basically where most of the vanishing points will be all right so in this case here the vp for the building is located on the horizon line but the vp for the stairs here is actually much lower than the horizon line which is why we know that this flight of stairs are going downhill this scene is quite similar to some of the scenes in the second tutorial 
we have basically a very narrow uh, walkway with buildings on the left and right side but in this case this is a flat of stairs that goes down so the vanishing point for the stairs um, let's look at this as a general shape so the vanishing point is actually here but um, we can see there are some diagonal lines here and the diagonal lines here are actually going to a vanishing point that is somewhere here because um, this is actually flat like leveled whereas the direction of the stairs is actually going down so the direction of the stairs is going to this vanishing point but the direction of the level ground actually goes to this VP here so when you draw these angles make sure they go to the VP there the vanishing point there here's a city street scene where the road is going down um, again when we look at a scene like this our eyes our brains are they are going to play tricks on us so we need to measure like this angle so from what i can see this is almost horizontal right this is almost horizontal but it's not so the vp for this road is actually here and for the buildings the vp is actually located at our line level which is somewhere around here the, the horizon line is here um, wait the horizon line is here so the VP is actually somewhere here so when we draw we need to know where the vanishing point is and draw all those diagonal lines to the vanishing point uh, in this case I don't even need to look at the reference photo to draw or to create my own buildings I just need to make sure that the top and bottom line of the buildings are going to the correct vanishing point and I can actually just create my own buildings but of course if you're drawing on location then um, draw from observation as well as draw with the knowledge of perspective that will greatly help you uh, make your sketch look more accurate so we have another um, road here the vp is here um, again for this scene i would just block out the big ships the buildings with pencil before i ink it because it's a very complicated sketch and once you make any mistake at the start of the sketch <laughs> The mistake is going to affect your work later on so for example if you draw something too big if you draw a building too big then the building beside it will naturally have to be bigger because it has to be in proportion to the first building you draw and subsequently all the buildings that you draw later on will be like much bigger and bigger so if you make some mistake at the right at the start of your sketch then well that mistake is going to affect all your work uh, later on yep so this is just a very rough sketch so just practice around you don't have to draw like I mean to get some practice you don't have to draw all the details you just have to draw like the shape just turn a block a series or a group of buildings into a block and then just draw that block of shape just to get a feel of where those diagonal lines are going it's definitely going to be more fun as well as challenging when it comes to drawing outdoors and i do recommend you draw outdoors because uh, if you work with reference photos like this you can see the composition or the framing um, it has already been selected for you but when you are out on location you can actually uh, move to the side of this uh, I mean stand here to see more of the wall here or you can stand here to see more of the wall here so you can move around you can choose your composition depending on where the light and shadow is you can move around to select um, the scene the specific composition that you want 
So these are just some limitations when it comes to working with photos um, and also uh, when you draw on location, you get to remember the scene more vividly, you get to remember that experience more vividly and that's the fun when it comes to urban sketching. If you guys want to learn more about sketching, urban sketching, do check out my YouTube playlist and also consider supporting me on Patreon where you get access to even more in-depth drawing tutorials. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video, bye!